ever since I recall I have followed football and ingrained in my heart are the Rangers FC through good and the bad times of happy or sad it will always be Rangers for me for when I was a lad I was led by the hand down the Paisley Road West I will never forget that you sight of the red, blue and white from the day I'd be Rangers for life. And I vowed to my dad, if I too have a lad, I would show him the way as he did on that day. And so now here I stand with young Lyle by the hand after walking down Paisley Road. So welcome along to Down the Paisley Road West. We're in the lovely setting of the Argyll Suite at Ibrook Stadium. And today's guest is the one and only Natural Novo. Hi, how are you? Natural, you signed for Rangers in 2004. 179 appearances and 47 goals. You won three, three league titles, one Scottish Cup and one League Cup. You also played in the League Cup final, eh, sorry, the UEFA Cup final. What a great career with the Glasgow Rangers, Anna. Yeah, yeah, it's actually for me. It was the it was the best thing, you know, and um, and I'm so happy. Like uh, Rangers, he's given me everything to me, you know, and it's the name I have is is thanks for 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 this club, and uh, you know, so I actually feel a fully Rangers fan. So the beginning of the Rangers story for Nacho Novo, he said no thanks. Yes, it's a, uh, it's that uh, it's a, uh, I think like uh, it's, it's been happening before. Come, uh, you know, in Dundee in, in the summer when uh, uh, Celtics want to sign me as well on the same time, and um, you know, it's, it's actually it was a, uh, it was a complicated one because uh, obviously in Dundee the, 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 they want me obviously for more money. Yeah. So they will uh, want me to go on to 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 speak to Celtic Park. And so the Celtic make the first approach? No, no. The f always is uh, Rangers been there for me. No, did the Celtic contact you before Rangers contacted you? No, no. The I, I I knew the Rangers is 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 half a, a you know is 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 been talking about that. Yeah. You know, is I already knew from even from January that. Uh, so you you know the story. Have, uh, and uh, you know, it's I know Rangers has always been there. Okay. Celtic is appeared in the last minute. Okay. And, and um, was it true that Celtic offered more money than Rangers to Dundee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next question is going to be: So why did you pick the Glasgow Rangers? Because uh, I thought it's uh, it was better club, um, better name players, uh, uh, great fans. Uh, I had as well very good friends of uh, of mine here, like Shura, Kishan, Svili, Avelacci speak very well, Claudio Canilla speak very well, uh, Ronald De Boer speak very well about the, the club, and uh, sometimes I used to come down and have dinner with them. So it's uh, I know was uh, thinking about that, and then as well, I'm the one she's thinking, uh, you know, as well before my mom is dies, she's. She always say to me, you know, you need to go for 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 the ones uh, are always interesting in you, you know. So yeah. So how 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 did the approach go for Celtic? You went to Celtic Park. They tried to sign you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went to to Celtic Park uh, to speak with Martin and uh, They've been showing me everything, but uh, I already knew that uh, I'm not going to sign for for Celtic. So. It just kind of like uh, Dundee made me go over there. You yeah. Know? So uh, I just went and you know uh, I just was there. And I I just say uh, uh, okay okay bye bye. Just left and um, you know just go to Dundee. I just uh, say to the chairman that uh, I want to say still sign for Rangers. So this is nothing. When I was to Celtic, anyways, it's not even speak about. Uh, any contracts or anything, you just try to show everything and, you know, uh, just want to sign for me. 
remember Martin O'Neill just grabbed me like that from my neck and just said, you better sign for us. So <laughs> I just laughing, you know. You um, think yourself, you're speaking yeah. <laughs> so-and-so. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, it's, uh, you understand sometimes where, yeah. where people is, are interested in people who will try to make everything the best. But of for course. me, Rangers has always been there for me, you know, and uh, um, I don't like uh, when it's coming the last minute. So I uh, had good four, good friends here, Rangers, Mikel Arteta, everyone. And uh, I just decided to come over. So, as he said, he said no thanks. Maybe they should make a song about that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you arrived at Ibrook Stadium. You signed for the famous Glasgow Rangers. Tell us first of all your memories of your first day coming and signing for the club. Oof, it was a very exciting moment, you know. And actually, I remember just coming to Glasgow uh, before I gonna sign, and um, I used to be in a hotel stay in the hotel so because been waiting for the the, the, the the transfer from from Dundee the paper from Dundee to get signed yeah. so I can speak with Rangers so I was there and I used to get a car and just drive just to come to Ibrox just to see just Ibrox. to see it yeah just to see it in anticipation of actually making it yeah making the move yeah. so on your first day when you met the players and you actually you became a Rangers player if you can you remember that yeah, yeah, I actually remember, you know, I remember just to come out and everybody has been treating me very well. Um, you know, great installations as well in Murray Park and everything. So I was, I was quite, quite, quite happy with this, you know, and it's made me feel, you know, just to start, you know, yeah. uh, as soon as to, to, to play. And uh, it's actually, this was one of the best feelings ever. Great. So tell me about some of the stories you can remember in the dressing room, some of the characters and the people that made you laugh. Made me laugh. The other person. Yeah. The other person used to be funny as anything. Um, it's, it's, it's been, the good thing is been having good uh, good children room in there, you know, like yeah. a good, good team in there. Um, uh, the first year I remember is 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 done the the precision in Austria, yeah. um, you know just go in there and the game away go and play against Roma. Um, everybody's put the simple the best, you know, and, and that or me and everybody just start singing in the voice, you know, going to the game. Yeah, you know, so it's always be a good atmosphere there. And yeah, so uh, it's a family atmosphere almost. Yeah, 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 and uh, that is obviously that is very important, you know. So why? Good. Your memories of that that season? <sighs> what a season that was, and uh, naturally it's been could be even better, you know. But uh, we don't have any help at all, you know. When you see the sample in the final, the city, um, the St. Petersburg, the Senate, uh, they had I don't know how many weeks just to prepare the final, you know. Do you th sorry? Do you feel the Spanish? Authorities would have gave the Spanish club a better chance than the, the, Scot the Scottish FA did. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's done in Russia, so you know. So I think uh, it's poor against because we, we actually uh, represent uh, uh, the UK there. Yeah. You know, a final, uh, and. Uh, it's, it's, it was incredible after that, you know, just to prepare there and then we can go for the league and everything and win everything really. Yeah. Make history. And uh, just pull all the games, just tied up in there, you know, that the press is kind of recover. You know, it was, and, too and, it was too many games yeah. and the Scottish FA really didn't want it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's this, that was the right thing, but. Uh, it still was a, a good run, you know, and um, it's been it's been fantastic in, in Europe. It's By far, the, the best games that Rangers played in that season and the European competition were all away from home. We had some great defensive displays at Ibrox, yeah. but the away, away from home performances, you all agree, I would, I would think that were outstanding and better memories. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been very good. I thought I thought the game against Paratinaikos in here. I missed I don't know how many chances I remember. Yeah. Because 
but you, but you got the chance up when you went to Greece. That was a great night. Yeah. That was in the Panathinaikos end. Yeah, it's it's it was fantastic. What was that t- ten minutes to go? Run about then you scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, between ten or five, I don't know. Yeah, but that finished them. Yeah, but uh, and actually I have a memory in Poland when I was there, and uh, the goalkeeper used to be there. Yeah, you know his friend or one of my teammates used to be the second goalkeeper, and uh, he told me, "I remember when you scored against us." And yeah. And Paratinaikos and Greece and, and all that. So and the infamous uh, Greek fans just they, 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 the game was a bogey. They chopped it, and the Rangers support knew we were through. We knew we'd done it. Yeah, when yeah. When he scored that it's, goal, it was it was fantastic. It was fantastic, but at the same time as well, it's, the thing is being blown. You know, I think it's, it's half a great run of of games. You know. Yeah. And, and, and you know, scoring goals as well. So it was, a, it, was a, it was a great partnership you had, and it was a great team spirit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, at least you know, it's team spirit. I would say, you know, yeah. because that is the you win games with 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 all of them. You know, not for one player only. My memory of that one of my big memories was uh, the the game against Bremen. Yeah. Sorry, the game in Bremen against Wolfsburg. Yeah. Rangers were absolutely pounded. They hit us with everything. Yeah. But we got the result. Can you remember that game? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember I play striker just yeah. as a number nine, and it was with this big two centre half. Yeah. Um, and you know, actually, it's, it's, it was a, a game that uh, they could score. I don't know how many. Gregory yeah. 